Live from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Zach Greinke. What do you look for here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go now. Leading off, Pete Crow Armstrong. Here comes a pitch. And there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's a big power threat. Christopher Morell. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. The pitch just missed Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in Granky keeping him close late swing fouled off with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here outside corner got him looking he can't believe it this guy will throw any pitch at any count three two he goes off speed gets the out Now batting Jamer Candelario. Throw over to first. And he dives back in safely. Crow Armstrong leads off first with one away. Ground ball left side could be two. Good feed. That's one. And that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Back here in Kansas City. And now here's the starter for the Cubs, Justin Steele. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Pitch misses. And now three balls and a strike. And he deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And a pitch. Left field. Makes the catch, and there's one away. That is good. Look at this. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. 
should be an inning ending double play. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and one. Snap throw to first. And he's back in easily. The pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. MJ Melendez on deck for the Royals. And a pitch. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. Here's a 1 1. That's a ball. Two more. That clips the corner. Step off, throw to first, and he's back in there. Got it by him for the K. Royals lead one, scoreless after one. set for the start of the inning. Now it's Alexander Canario. Alexander Canario. The wide to kick the pitch. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Off the oh, outside right edge and now the count is two and two. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Number four. And next for the Cubs, number 40. No score here in the second. Singing, you know, Zach Greinke, a guy that even while he's been playing, he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video. Well, in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee, he went into their draft room and there was video on the screen of a certain player and he pointed at the screen Greinke did and said, that's the guy you should take with your first pick. He's the best player in the draft. And it turned out to be his future teammate, Corey Seager. Patrick Wisdom. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. And a 1-1. That's hard hit on the line. And he'll play it on a bounce. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Runner at first with two away. So up now for Chicago, Jared Young. Pitch in the dirt. And it's two and one. Wisdom off of first with two away. Now 
That's out to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And now it's Miguel Amaya. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. First and second, two down. Next one misses. The count now two and two. hit into right center here comes wisdom around third one runs in young rounds third headed for the plate the tag and that's out number three inning over but they push across one run three hits no errors and one man left we go to the bottom of inning number two it's the Cubs one and the Royals nothing Back here at Kauffman Stadium, bottom of the second. Here's the left fielder, Edward Olivares. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And that one is in the dirt. And it's 2-2. Two and two. Got him swinging. That's one out the bottom of the second. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. In the air, out towards left center. Grabs it on the run. And there are two outs. Dyron Blanco will hit next. And a pitch. And that is in for a strike. And the count one and two. And now the lefty. And a ball evens the count. And now the count filled up three and two. Nick Prado next up for Kansas City. Three. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. KC down in order. And it remains one nothing. Here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. So up now for Chicago, Miles Mastroboni. Here's a one-two. Gets a piece and stays alive. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Next oh, offering misses, two and two. Got him, Lucas. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to 
at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can 1-1 one, one, check swing appeal down to third no swing he held up Carl Dixon with the call there good eye in that spot Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there and deal with the next guy. On the ground, out to short. Tosses across the first, and that will end the inning. Cubs are down quietly, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Bottom of the inning, here's Nick Prado. The first baseman. And a pitch. Swing and a chopper. Mastroboni in plenty of time to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And now it's Matt Duffy. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Number 11 now at the plate. Walk to open the ball game. That one misses in the dirt. And deals. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Canario makes the play, and it's out number three. Royals go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Jamer Candelario. The pitch. Swings through that one out one front that time. Slow roller to first. Prado. And they put the tag on him for the out. The batter, the right fielder. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole, Alexander Canario. Grounded out to short in his first trip. And the right hander deals. On the ground. Slings to first. Two up, two down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Number 40. And next for the Cubs, number 40. Struck out swinging his first time. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And the Cubs are down in order. But they're on top, 1-0. And welcome back. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bobby Witt, Jr. Well, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. In there. And so now one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. 
Throws across the diamond. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Here's the catcher to hit, Salvador Perez. He's 0 for 1. The Royals still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Check swing, appeal to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. MJ Melendez digs in now. Went down on strikes his first time through. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And here it comes. Out of line, out towards center. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. Royals bats are quiet there. They're down 1 0. Back here in Kansas City, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The wind and the pitch. And oh, another ball. Work. Fouls one off. Two and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And up next for Chicago, Jared Young. And he's already singled in this game. Next pitch is outside. Just off the inside edge. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Next offering is foul back. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two gone. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two down, nobody on. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to first, and Freddie Ferguson says he went around. The one-two. Goes down looking. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And to the plate for Kansas City, Edward Olivares. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. The 2-2. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. 0 for 1 with a flyout. 
You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Going to count one and two. And that's down it away. Here's a 2 2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The Royals yet to pick up a hit here. And now it's filled up. Dyrone Blanco waiting for a turn at the plate. And the tying run is on base. Here's the center fielder, Dyrone Blanco, caught looking his first time up. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Here's a 1-1. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. 2-2 Two -two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now the first baseman, Nick Prado. 0 for 1 so far. The 2 1. In there at the knees for a strike. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. one nothing the final. The Cubs go home a winner. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.